Hello, Stan family. It's Sylvia here and um, Sam and Fifi, and we're going to just be having a chat every Wednesday evening and let people know what's going on and talk things through. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> there's lots going on. There's, yeah, there's lots going on in the UK and there's lots going on in Australia right now. And um, we all saw this happening. You know, a lot of us saw this happening for a long time. And there's, you know, a lot of people who are just waking up to an hour who might have even got their two jabs and now they don't want to get the booster. And now they're all like, what do we do? And we're all here like, we don't know either. <laughs> Yeah, we've um, obviously just had the um, the vote through for not only vax passports in uh, at the moment it's in the larger venues and bigger events, but we know where it will be heading. And also, I Madden think that's suggested too. for um, sorry, yeah, suggested for the new year. I think it's going to move quite quickly. Yes. Um, they're already saying come the new year, they want to do pubs and restaurants. Um, and I think as we've seen in other countries that once it's in, it just boom, 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 expands to kind of every area of life. So um, I think, you know, this is the start. But yeah, the um, the NHS mandates, yeah. I know, are um, it's, it's a dark, dark day. Um, bye bye bodily autonomy unfortunately and I think yeah. again same with that you know we've seen it again in other countries they start with one profession here it was the care homes we've gone to NHS you know how long is it going to be before you know there are other professions that is being mandated for um it is concerning it is well you know that I'm in Queen yeah but we, we oh. knew it was it was coming like no matter what they kind of held off a bit in the UK because there was so much vocal um visible resistance but it's like i've been saying the whole way along that this is an agenda they can't stop they won't stop so no matter what the level of resistance they have to introduce these things and keep rolling keep rolling keep rolling and it will look really yeah. really bad but the resistance is still there. And yeah, it's this is like the, the real battle starting now. And you've obviously still, you're living in it already. This has been in place. How, how long has it been in place where you are? Well, Imagine. tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Friday is when in Queensland it's going to be, um, you know, you can't, without a Vax passport, you can't go to cafes, restaurants, you know, they're even suggesting that, supermarkets are allowed not to let unvaccinated people in down in new south wales strangely they've been having it for the past six months or so but now it's they're on they're having freedom day where you know the unvaccinated are getting some freedoms back you know and i did just before and say we don't know what to do but me personally right from the beginning it's been non-compliance 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 and you know the rallies and the protests is the only way to end it Agreed. it's the only way Mass like the mom. protests, the rallies are great. Everyone, you know, gets their vibe up and you feel really like, oh, wow, there's a lot of us. But it doesn't do anything. Like Fifi said, it's not going to stop the freight train. It's not going to stop the bushfire burning through and everything. It's it's more for us. But not Yeah, but they are, they are a really um, a really good way of recharging batteries and, and showing in person the, the scale of the resistance. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but looking out on a sea of people that are standing there just saying, no, no, I do not comply. You know, the the, the energetic power of that is, is something that's quite phenomenal. And I don't think you can underestimate, you know, the power that that does have. Yes, they're not going to roll over and go, yeah. oh, okay, all right, no, yeah. we'll stop now. But, it, but um, it you know, you've got to wonder. Sorry. Absolutely. It it empowers people to then go away you may have been kind of going along with stuff to get along um you know and and they come to a big protest and they see it does it just gets you going and you feel energized and wow there are so many of us and they are going to go back home and live a bit differently and not be complying be like well stuff wearing a mask you know whatever it might be burn the mask they do have an impact, but yeah, it's never going to be the government sees us on the street and says, right, call it all off. You know, it wouldn't matter if there were 10 million of us. They have to keep this going because as 
we've said, you know, this is an agenda that's been in the making for, we don't even know how long, you know, people have got different opinions of decades, hundreds of years, thousands of years, you know, so it's a, long it's time. a juggernaut, it's a juggernaut, but yeah, it's a very powerful um, symbol and you're just compelled to do it, aren't you? Get out on the streets and be visible. So we've yeah. got one where well, we've both, we've got them going on this Saturday um, in London, and there are other places around the country. But you've got stuff happening over in Oz as yeah. well. You? We have it's like an Australia unites, and it's kind of in solidarity for Queensland. Queensland is sort of becoming a nation state in Australia. Like our premier is off the charts, dictator style locking out people if they're you know unjabbed and stuff like that that action alone has actually caused death because people who live on the border can't get to the hospital on that and this, it's just ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous I don't know what's going to happen but I yeah and it's really hard to continue non-compliance because the people it's not just the government and the police policing now it's other people and you guys would have seen that too you know You've got people drunk on power, check in, chasing after people. Like someone told me today, they went to the hospital, they didn't check in, and this young security guard lady ran after them and you have to check in, you have to do, 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 do. It's like, come on. Like, it's really hard. I was saying to you guys earlier, I'm, I'm really tired. I'm really, I'm really over this. And I want them to stop. <laughs> like, please stop. But I, I think... I, I, I'm in a different place. I've, I've, I've been there. I've, I've had the, the really kind of low, just, I'm, I'm just, it's too much, but um, I'm actually in a very different place. I'm feeling very, very positive. The way I look at it is that I think the harder they push, the more restrictions they bring in. It almost needs to happen because the harder they push, the more they expose their hand, the more mm. questions it prompts people to ask. And I think this is a process that we have to go through in order to, you know, expose that darkness, expose those agendas and and you know emerge the other side, you know, in yeah. a better place. And and yeah, it's going to be tough. You know, I don't doubt that the coming months we're going to see things kind of you know, rock it into, you know, horrendous places. But I, I think it has to happen. And I think, you know, there there are millions of us everywhere. And, and I think the only way we're going to get through this is by coming together and uniting together. And I think, you know, what we're doing, you know, a stand in the park is, is going to be instrumental in that. And anyone who is feeling, you know, going through what we've all been through and that, that very low place of, you know, lack of energy, just that exhaustion of this constant onslaught is just seek support. You know, there are millions of us out there. And if we're all meeting in our parks, we can create that safe zone. We can give each other that strength and that energy to just keep plugging away because, you know, this is the long haul and um, we need each other to be able to get through it. Uh, really, I did like, um, sorry, Fifi. Sorry, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so you do no. have to be mindful of maintaining your balance and you know because you could spend and I have done in the in the past mm -hmm. my detriment 24 7 on this stuff and you're getting yourself more and more wound up the more that you're focusing on everything that seems to be going wrong oh my god we've got to stop this now it is it's a long-term plan I do think though that they're having to really, it, it's it's un, unrolling too fast. It's like they're having to sprint themselves because the awakening is happening. Um, it reeks of desperation over here, let me does. tell you. It, yeah, it, it does, does here it does as well. Is, I think with the it? Omicron, oh, palaver. the moronic, the moronic um, yeah. plane, which has been, I was saying earlier, um, the, the woman, the, the scientist who discovered this, this um, apparent new variant has said it is the mildest, like anyone who's had it, it's been really, really mild, nothing to worry about. And then you just see, don't you, the power of the media telling a completely different story with absolutely no facts whatsoever. 
to no basis in reality none at all but there is and of course out come the modelers with their predictions of doom and gloom and you think well what are you basing this on the data is there we've got a month you know, from yeah, South totally. Africa and other countries where it's emerged, yeah, we 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 can see it's not causing hospitalization. Right. So you know, it's, 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 we just had the um, it is well, we had the New South Wales um, Chief Health Officer Kerry Chant, deranged woman. She's just done a press conference and she's like, you know, instead of doing Christmas shopping, you should shop for boosters. Like, oh my god. Oh my God, like what? It's just insane. It's literally it's insane. Insanity. And it's getting more insane. It's just that it's, you just, you couldn't make it up. No. You couldn't make it up and you don't have to because no. it's all, oh. But it's like, you know, I know that me personally and I feel like you two as well, I will never, I will never get this jab, oh. jab you know, oh. never, never. But I was talking to a friend of mine and um, she had previously said she would never get it, but she felt such pressure from her workplace. Her principal at her school, because here it's been mandated for teachers, police, you know, nurses, care homes, just on and on and on and on. And she said her principal offered her a bottle of Moe. He said, just go get it. Just go get it. And I'll buy you a bottle of Moe. Wow. Like, and she almost caved. She said she was feeling such a low point. She just wanted it to all go away. But she rang me up and we had a big chat about it. And, you know, they're just trying everything they can. And I think Brady said it really well in his live the other night. Um, good to have him back, isn't it? Yeah. He said, this, this is the worst time for any of us to feel alone. And, you know, it, my Sundays are my saviour at the moment. I I love them, you know. Yeah, we, we it just... I, when I wasn't feeling well so obviously I couldn't go for a couple of weeks and you just really feel it you just it's so nice knowing that you've got the support of people and they've got your backs and even the people you might not even know really well because everyone's kind of got you know you gravitate yeah. towards uh, you know kind of kindred spirits yeah. but still it's anyone who's at that stand is there for everyone else um yeah and it's yeah it's just uh, anyone who's who's um like you said before like feeling oh my god you know the panic the anxiety feeling alone feeling the pressure because that's what they want is for us to just cave mm -hmm. in because it's this prolonged thing I mean we're two years in now um it, it's like a release valve isn't it to be around people um, and obviously, you know, we're, we're also doing stuff outside of the Sundays, but that thing, that kind of focal point every Sunday, we Sunday it's a safe morning, space, it's a yeah. safe space. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. that's I get really upset when I hear that um, some of the stands have, I guess, devolved into like political things or this thing or the other thing. And it's like the, the like the core of it is just freedom, you know, like. When even when people are like everybody listen to me, everybody listen to me, that upsets me. It's like no, I'm free to listen to who I want to listen to and not listen to, you know. So I just wish that um, I wish that part of it, you know, that things sort of people said like no, I don't have to listen, you know. It's kind of stand up for themselves, nature, and, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think the focus does just need to be on mutual kind of respect, understanding, and unity. You know, yeah. just. just you know, being together, empowering each other, supporting each other. Um, yeah. It does. Yeah. We're powerful together. That's the thing. It's all about us just being being together. Because in the end, it is, it's about numbers, really. And us just coming together en masse, which is happening. I mean, look at the... Um, um, did you... You might not have seen this, Sylv, because it's in the UK, but... Uh, GMB um, news, you know, it's like a morning program oh. show, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. So they put a poll out on Twitter saying, oh, you know, with this new deadly variant out there, <laughs> do you think um, that it's time for the jabs to be mandated? 89% said no. 
and obviously eleven. So what did they do? I think I saw that it was forty-three thousand answers yeah, too, wasn't it? A lot of answers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just deleted it. Uh, it wasn't like they deleted the whole bet, thing. If it was they the deleted. other way round, it would have been front cover news. Absolutely. But they yeah. ripped that out. You know, quick yeah. start because this is the reality. Is the public do not want any of this, yeah. and I have faith that. The more they they push us, the more restrictions, the more, I mean, it's going to be hell, yes, to go through it. it it's, an, you know, there's no kind yeah. of getting away from it. But I think that's what it, it, it's going to take for people to really put their foot yeah. down. You're going to see people that have never said boo to a goose going, right, you know, stepping into yes. their power because Ooh. overreach is just, is beyond, beyond. Ify, a hundred percent, and you're so right. Like my own mother, all year, you know, me, and my dad, and my sister have been like, "This is coming, this is coming." It's man, be mandatory. And my mum was like, "No, no, we live in Australia. It's a free and democratic country." She could not believe that that would happen, and now she's being mandated, and yeah. she's just like fired up. Exactly like you said, she's just like, "What?" No, she's going to come to, we've got a protest on Saturday, like the Australia Unites thing. And then we've got another one on Friday where we're just going to the Queensland government building just to shake our fists or whatever. I don't know, just yell and show out, you know, just be there just to let them know we're not forgetting. And she's coming to both of them. Yeah. So for my mum, quite quiet, quite conservative, the people are waking up. That is incredible. Yeah, I've heard similar stories of, of people that just after the vote last night have gone, uh, okay, no, no. And they're now coming to the protest. They've never protested before. They've gone along with everything. They've been happy, but the mandates, the vaccine passports is their line. And yeah. as I said before, I think, yeah, everyone's got a line. Yeah. And, um, you know, the harder they push, the more people are going to reach their line. And um, I think we just need to be there for them, you know, with love, compassion welcome them with open arms and and you know we we have to um stick together on this regardless of you know whether you've had a jab whether you've not whether you agree with them but don't agree with the mandates and, yes. and the passports you know the, the the point is freedom to choose you know that is the, the bottom line and um yeah i think it's important that that we do focus <coughs> on being together regardless of vaccination status and it's something that i'm seeing a lot of at the moment is is people finding it difficult to make that connection um, with people who have who have had those jabs um, and I think my message would certainly be that we, we can't allow ourselves to further that segregation and that divide in society what no. we stand for is freedom to choose if you no. want to choose to have this injection then that is your choice but you know there are plenty of people that will choose to have it but don't believe that that choice should be taken away <coughs> from people sorry um, and i think we're we need to respect that, that we're seeing that a lot yeah. of people that have, have had the jab um, and are extremely alarmed by the thought of it being mandated the thought of the passports you know um whether they still feel comfortable in their own choice to have it done mm. i personally have a lot of issues around informed choice i don't believe that there is informed choice going on absolutely not I absolutely no. agree um do you know it's your body but somebody but if you're hypnotized know, is it your choice they should That's know what i have a problem with too what's in them what's you know that there, there is no actual informed choice that's my struggle Me um, too. yeah i totally agree Fifi. all of that they can discard it they could but they've had that information then you can say absolutely it's your right whether i think you're crazy or not go ahead um yeah. so we're not seeing informed choice but again you know that that that's another that's another thing, um, but people are. But it's also people's choice to inform themselves or not. Yeah. Like you find, I'm finding a lot of people are just, like you said, going along with it. They're done what they're told. Get this jab. We had a lady come to the stand a couple of weeks ago. She said she got her two jabs early on in the piece and it's only in the past like three months where she's seen, she used the words, the massive propaganda. And that was, she was just like, wow, there's something weird about this. There's something fishy. 
And now she's, you know, said she's not going to get any more boosters, any boosters. So yeah, it's happening a lot. And and also they they're now they're classifying anybody who has only ha only had the two um, as unvaccinated. So I mean, yeah. it, it's just you know, it's a massive, massive whitewash. It's a scam. Um, obviously, of epic proportions. But more and more people seem to be. Uh, wising up to it thankfully but I do think we've got some very dark dark appearing days ahead because I keep banging on about optics but it really is so you've got it being driven 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 but when you see things like that pole for example like whoa that's the reality yeah. and that's what they don't want you to see um so I think you know it'll it's going to be interesting on Saturday to see, you know, the cross section of people and and how it's kind of evolving. And you know, I, I think they're going to be big um, yeah. here and I think so. in, in Oz. And obviously, we'll be. <coughs> oh, you love this. <laughs> yes, uh, you guys will love this. Guess what's some now finable offence over here. Well, it, I don't, I'm pretty sure they passed it. I'm not sure if it's 100%, but um, it's been in the news. Coughing and sneezing in public can get you a Ooh, fine now. Of course. There'll be farting next. So. <laughs> like, what like, is? Legit. What you like, what? <laughs> it's just I it's a crazy great way of getting now. through the supermarket if they you know, people just. <laughs> yeah. Fine <laughs> oh, of the way. Before they introduce kind of like outright insanity the more it penetrates like even the most brainwashed you know is going to go well that's a bit much isn't it hang on a sec or, you know or we hope um hope so yeah yeah but well it's been lovely chatting ladies um any any parting Thoughts. My parting, um, my my parting point would be that if you can get to a rally on Saturday, please, please do. Like, obviously, you know, we've discussed that perhaps it's not going to make the government just turn around and go no, but um, it it does send a massive message, and it is fantastic for our own souls, our own well being, and to be amongst you know your fellow freedom fighters. There is nothing like it. Um, yeah. If you've not been to one before, you know, don't be worried. You know, they 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 are fantastic. They are peaceful. They are joyous occasions, and um, yeah. Um, if 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 you were ever kind of thinking, oh, maybe Saturday is the day to go. Like we really need this now, especially yeah. after the vote. Like, yeah, please get down there. We'll be there. Where are we yes. yeah, Come and say I'll be waving down. my yellow yeah. stand in the park flag. Me too. I love that. That's that's my final word too. Go on Saturday. Just be numbered. Be with us. You know. Stand up and be counted. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, have a have a great rest of the week, everyone, and yeah, we'll be okay. uh, we'll be reporting from the the protest for anyone that can't make it. So you can just check us out on um, it'll be on, on the Facebook page streamed, and then we'll share them. So yeah, yeah, okay. See you in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> see you. Bye. Love to everyone. Bye.